Hey family, um, it's me again. Um, so my mom, she turned 90 this month, um, June 5th. And I wanted to, um, my hope was to at least get it around her birthday. And then it was like, I hope I get it Gemini season. And now it's like, let's try to get this done before the end of June. So here I am. Um, I did want to, I don't know how far this video is going to reach. I don't know if it's going to be a few people or a few thousand, but um, I wanted to reach out to the young lady who, um, I think Dane Calloway did, he did a live, but when I watched the replay, it seemed like people were calling in, like people were actually able to call in and ask questions. And this particular young lady who, um, she called in about her grandmother. She said she was from Chicago. Her grandmother came up from Arkansas. And at one point she was like, my grandmother's an Aries. And her grandmother's the same age as my mom. She mentioned her grandmother was 89. And back in October of 21, my mom was still 89. Um, I don't know if she mentioned her age, but she sounded like she might've been about my age. So I just kept seeing all these or hearing all these parallels like um her grandma was an aries and i'm an aries she's a gemini my mom's a gemini and you know there's just um a lot of similarities so you know if by a miracle she finds this video um you can like reach out because um just similar mindsets on ancestry and elders and in the same city because a lot of people are still reiterating parroting and um believing like the narrative um so that's the preface um so my mom's side of the family i'm gonna do this if you know my father's side took like 20 to 25 minutes my mom's side is gonna take 30 to 45 because you know i found more people and because she's 90 and lucid i had more oral history i had her memory um so there's just more people on her side um to talk about but i'm gonna start with her father's side because that's gonna be shorter and baby's doing he's doing all right but he's gonna get fussy and i'm gonna have to do this with one arm again um so yeah so let's start so um she was born here he goes she was born in st louis um but she considers herself oh she actually i mean she considers herself st louis because she was born there but um but yeah that's where she was born but and i think i mentioned this in a previous video um when i was talking about elders being born on one side of the river and then being brought back on the other side um so by the time she was born her great grandparents had come up you know because it was still up they had come up from metropolis illinois and when i get to those that side because that's like her mom's side so that would be another video but they had come up from metropolis illinois to East St. Louis. Well, most of them ended up in East St. Louis, but her great grandparents, um, my great great grandfather, who I named my son after, so his third great grandfather, um, they moved to St. Louis. They bought a house. There's a census where he is listed as a homeowner. Um, I forget which one, 1930. He might have been dead by 1940. So it might have been a 1920 or 1930 census. He was a homeowner. He was literate. Um, but yeah, they, you know, I think they had like eight or nine children. And I think it was an aunt of hers that um, agreed to take in. Sorry. Sorry about the angles. I'm trying to push the stroller with one arm. Um, they had agreed to like, you know, take in my grandmother, you know, for her lying in period. So that's why she was born on the St. Louis side. And I guess once the, and I don't know how long my grandmother's lying in period was, 
but um once it was over they went back to east st louis to live so um i consider myself a fifth generation illinoisan um even though my mother was born in st louis you know she was raised in east st louis and um when she got older her father my grandfather um he had worked as a houseman in Highland Park, Illinois. So, you know, I think like the way my mom described it, he would have, he would be there for like, you know, during the week and maybe every other weekend, either every weekend or every other weekend, he had his apartment in Bronzeville. Um, yes, yeah, so when my grandfather was here, and I don't know what year he like came up to, um, you know, to work in Highland Park, but you know, he lived in Bronzeville. Uh, my mother had several addresses in Bronzeville. I think at least one in Inglewood. Um, these are Chicago area neighborhoods, if you're not familiar. Um, but Bronzeville was like the historic, if you're not familiar, the Bronzeville, it's the historically black neighborhood. And it was called that because in the beginning, you know, when the great migration started, it was the only place in Chicago where black people were allowed to live. And they just called it bronze because of the color of their skin. Um, so, and my mother, cause, okay. So here's where, yeah, I'm talking about my mom's mom, but you now I'm talking about her birth story. So, yeah, I went too far. Um, <laughs> this should be like her mom's side, but still, I'm still talking about her dad. So because my grandmother, she had a nervous breakdown when my mom was seven. So she ended up being raised by her aunt. So basically my grandmother, she had an older brother who was like a firstborn boy, but he moved up to Milwaukee. Um, the second child, oldest girl, and then my grandmother was the middle sister of the three girls, and then her baby sister, who we call Auntie Lodi. Um, Auntie Lodi was like my grandmother figure because Aunt Mabel, the oldest, she died um, soon after my great-grandfather died in like 58 I think it was the year my sister was born um so yeah my mom was raised by aunts uh, when she was in East St. Louis it was her aunts when then when she was in Chicago it was her father um yeah so now my f so yeah let's just go I'm sorry this is so unorganized I didn't really like mentally prepare and I knew it would be long and yeah, I always hope I can sit down, but I can't. So, um, my mother's father was born in Sugarlock, Mississippi. Um, I'll spell it correctly in the description and the tags, but people pronounce it Sugar Lock. Um, see, he was, he was one of five surviving children my great-grandmother had 11, burst 11, um, five survived, and my grandfather was one of the five. Um, they, I don't know what year, because I haven't found enough census records, but they moved from Sugarlock to East St. Louis. Um, what I did find in the census records, they were farm workers in Sugarlock. And when they were in East St. Louis, they worked for various railroads. Um, some of the records have, you know, the occupation, you know, railroad worker. Um, and then some of those records actually name which railroads they worked for. Um, so yeah, so that's their migration story. Um, my grandfather's parents, so I mentioned his mother, his father, um, my great grandfather's a dead end um, or a block. I haven't been able, like my mother doesn't remember him ever talking about his parents. 
Um, she does remember Uncle Tommy. I found something on Uncle Tommy, but not far back enough to list his parents. So that's, it is a lead that I can look more into. Um, my great grandmother, um, she's the one my mom suspects to be and keep in mind, my mother subscribes to the out of Africa theory. I haven't really laid a lot of the indigenous stuff on her. Um, so much, but given that she believes or just remembers, cause I think she was maybe 12 when her paternal grandmother passed. Um, that, you know, they called her Mama Susie. So her paternal grandmother, she remembers her looking like she might have been mixed, quote unquote mixed. Um, she says she appeared, you know, she was, I guess, brownish, but like so are we. But, you know, she, her words were she looks like she might have been lighter when she was younger um you know because a lot of us you know we darken with age but she said her hair was on the curlier side i guess curlier than the rest of us i have my father's hair i'm a 4c my dad was a 4c my mom's more like a 4a and i guess you know from her description mama susie's hair might have been type three um but you know, she never talked about it. Um, this is, yeah, this is like another thing to really look into. Um, you know, that neither of them, or the both of them not talk about who they were or what they might've been mixed with because, you know, and did they end up leaving? Were they part of the great migration because, because of the threats? You know, if you tell people, talk about your culture, your tradition, your ethnicity, you know, were, were their lives threatened? Um, but she describes Mama Susie as being quiet anyway, like quiet by nature. You know, she'd read, read her Bible and she was just really quiet. My great grandfather, on the other hand, Papa Lewis, temper, temper. <laughs> the man had a temper and I think maybe that's where I got mine you know part of it might be the Aries blood and some of it might be Papa Lewis's blood I don't even know if he was an Aries but um so no, no very different types of people you know he was the more outspoken the more outspoken one she was the quiet one but you know my mom always says by the time you have the questions, they're, you know, they're gone. They've transitioned. And, but she's like, as children, you know, like she's born in 1932. So she's a child in the thirties, teenager in the forties. Um, you know, she remembers World War II. She remembers um, ration books during the war. She said that she um she and another girl you know during like the bomb raid drills they were the two who had to go down the street to make sure everybody's lights were off so this is that time this is where she how she came up she's like we didn't ask questions even if we were wondering and had the question they didn't dare ask because you know, it just wasn't a child's place to ask if they had the question. But she's like, they didn't know to ask. They didn't know what to ask. And if they wanted to ask, you don't dare do it. And by the time you're an adult and you know it's okay to ask, they're gone. They're not around to ask. Um, so she thinks Mama Susie might have been mixed with something. She doesn't know how many generations previous, was it her mother or her grandmother? Um, she does know because 
Huh. Her maiden name was Nicholson. Uh, and I don't know how long she knew or if it was from this family reunion, but she found, um, she knows Mama Susie's parents. So we know her parents. Um, and I did find a census record on my great great grandmother. Um, her name, her maiden name was Caroline Nicholson. And I think her mother's name was Caroline Nicholson. And the two of them, um, I forget which year, I wanna say 1830, but I would have to look at my records to be sure. But I know both Caroline Nicholson's were classified as mulatto in their, in their respective census records. Um, so there's that. They may have also at one point been on the Alabama side of the border. Um, but I'm not sure. There, yeah, because Sugarlock is very close to the Alabama border. Um, so yeah, there's, but then that Caroline Nicholson, the third great grandmother, she's the roadblock on that side. Um, Mama Susie's father, He's a role, but his name was Thomas Sanders, James Sanders, James Thomas, Thomas James Sanders. Um, so he's the roadblock because I haven't found his parents. So yeah, I've got a great, 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 third great grandmother, a great, great grandfather, and a great grandfather. Those are the three roadblocks on my mom's side. So, um, yeah, just talking about my mom's father's side. That's gonna be just under 20 minutes. Her mother's side's gonna be longer. Um, the matrilineal side, not as much, even though that is the most important. Um, but yeah, there's a grandfather's line that goes way back. My baby asleep. I could have been sitting down this whole time. And I'm done. What? So, so yeah, so that's what I've got. And that's where I am on, um, on my mother's father's side of the family. So yeah, I'm gonna stop there and I'm gonna see if I can find a place to sit and maybe I can do my mom's mother's side of the family. Well, my baby, sorry, sorry about these angles. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, I think I might do the matrilineal side while, um, while my baby enjoys his nap outside in the sunshine. Take care, everybody.